Hi, I'm Mark Marone, and this is my Scarlet Macaw Harry and my Red Tail Hawk Gigi. And hawks and parrots have fascinated humans since the beginning of time. How to keep hawks and parrots with us has also been a question that all pet keepers have tried to figure out for thousands of years. Now with hawks, what we've determined, the best way to keep them with us is with a system of jessies and leashes. Now a jess is a leather strap that goes around each of the legs of the hawk. There's two little leashes that connect to a swivel which connects to a long leash. These long leash is typically called a leash. The short ones here are called jesses and the leather anklets are called cuffs. Now the reason why this is perfectly safe to use on a majestic bird like Gigi is because if she jumps off there's equal pressure on each of her legs because both legs stop the same time when she jumps off my hand. This is very important because many people will put a leash on a parrot that goes to just one leg and should the parrot jump off that's going to hurt it. But for thousands and thousands of years this is how we've done it with birds of prey. And every country in the world and every falconer in the world and every veterinarian in the world will agree that a double leash set like this on rare and majestic creatures like this hawk is the way to go and is 100% perfectly safe. Now with parrots, we've tried to figure out ways of doing it. Since the leash doesn't work, most people will just trim the wing feathers of a parrot or put an uncomfortable harness on the parrot. But thanks to Harry and I, we figured out a way to put a leash set on your parrot the same way that we have a leash set on Gigi here. You see, the problem that we had, people for many, many years have asked me, can you devise a Jess and a cuff for my parrot? And no, we can't because you notice that the cuffs and the leashes on Gigi are made of leather. If I put something like this on Harry, it would be gone in 15 minutes because he'd chew it right up. So we went to the drawing board and this is what we figured out. Thanks to our good old drawing board, Harry here has figured out the best way to have a Jess set up and a leash set up on your pet parrot. All three of these birds do not have their wing feathers trimmed. All three of these birds would be perfectly safe to take outside because using the techniques that we've learned through thousands of years of falconry, we've applied this to parrots and done it in a way that's perfectly safe for the parrot and that they can't chew up or chew off. Now let's take a look at Marty here. Come on, Marty. Now as you see, the Jess setup is the same way that we have it on the parrot. There's one little leash coming from each foot going down to a swivel with a leash attached to it. Now there's two different ways of putting these leashes on your parrot. Some birds will have a band on it that's already put on by the breeder. And if that's the case, you can just hook this very, very non-toxic, safe clip right onto the bird's leg band. And a bird that's wearing a parrot leash doesn't need to have its wings trimmed. That means that bird can fly. Now, birds that can fly have less incidence of feather picking. Birds that can fly are healthier. And birds that can fly just look better. Look how pretty this Conyers wings look. He doesn't have to have his wings trimmed. So therefore, he really looks like a bird. He doesn't have his wings feathers trimmed like 90% of all the parrots that have kept his pets do. He really looks like a bird, can act like a bird, and yet you can still keep him as a pet safely and without doing him any physical or mental harm by using one of our leashes. Remember, it took years and years and years for us to perfect this. And it's been perfected through at proper animal husbandry methods that were already perfected thousands and thousands of years ago by the first people who started keeping hawks, eagles, and falcons. Now, people don't keep as many hawks, eagles, and falcons anymore. They keep parrots, but the same principles now have been applied to keeping parrots only using safe, modern technology. And you see, we have one swivel at the base of each snap that leads to the Jess. Then there's another swivel here where the Jesses connect to the leash. So there's no chance at all of any risk of entanglement to the bird. Perfect. And no matter what size bird you have, we have a leash that will fit it. Whether it's a little bird like a cockatiel, 
medium-sized bird like an Amazon or a great big bird like Harry. Although, quite frankly, Harry does take his off. But if he was younger, I would have been able to train him to use it just like I trained all these other birds. And just like you, too, can train your own bird at home with my help. Now, as secure as this parrot leash may seem, remember, it's not to be put on the bird when he's in his cage, because it might get tangled up in the bars of the perch, or when the bird is not supervised. Only when the bird is being taken out of his cage outdoors for exercise, or he's on your finger or on your shoulder, and you securely have the other end of the leash. And here in the United States, these leashes are going to be sold exclusively by myself in my store, Parrots of the World, and by our distributor, King's Cages. And you can find out more information at parrotsoftheworld.com and at kingscages.com.